So if you want to bleach your skin, you feel it's going to make you more attractive and everything, then you should watch this video before you embark on that journey. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hope. On this channel, we do all things beauty. We do product reviews. We have lots of fun. Let's talk about today's topic. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about five things you should know in case you want to embark on bleaching journey. You know why I'm saying bleaching? I want to be putting it to your face. I want you to know what you want to do. I would have just said, okay, brightening, lightening, but no, it's not the same. And then, no, let me not say it's not the same. I need you to know what you're getting into. You want to get five shades lighter, 10 shades, 100 shades, whatever shades. Watch this video before you embark on that journey. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel where I dish out content like this and I'll be dishing out even much more amazing content, then you're going to be missing out because I don't know, like you need to be subscribed. So take a second, smash the subscribe button. And if you're my returning subscriber, thank you so much. I'm happy to have you again in 2023. And then without rambling too much, let's jump right into today's video. So the number one thing I want you to know before you start your bleaching journey, like before you start tampering with your skin color, your skin tone is bleaching is stressful. Yes, you heard me right. It is very stressful. You know how it is when you lie to someone, maybe your partner, your spouse, your your family member, or anybody, your colleague, just anybody. When I mean lie, like a lie that you have to, you know, cover up with another lie, a huge lie. Because I mean, we all lie. <laughs> so sometimes maybe it's just some of those lies that you get away with. Now, when you lie about something very important that you don't want someone who is important to you to find out that you just lied what are you going to do you have to cover up with another lie that is how lie is we can all agree to that that lie is not sustainable i mean if you want to sustain it which on the long run <laughs> like you have to keep covering up with another lie yes so that is how stressful skin bleaching is like it's not your skin tone so you have to keep covering up with another lie which makes it stressful in case you don't know lying is stressful well for me there are people that are very good at these things but for someone like me i feel lying is stressful and that makes skin bleaching stressful you're going to ask me hope how is that stressful i mean i can get away with it well if you listen to the rest of the four points that i have maybe you can agree with me that skin bleaching can be very very stressful and i'm not talking about Physical stress alone, I'm talking about a whole lot that you have to find out in this video. Now, that takes me to my second point. Skin bleaching tortures your mental health. Now, a lot of people are not going to agree with me on this one. But like I said, I don't come here to talk about what I don't know. I mean, it took me a lot of time. This is the content I've always wanted to make since i started this channel like to enlighten people about a whole lot of things a whole lot of things like this one and i am super excited that in 2023 this is the first content i'm dishing out to you guys so guys skin bleaching touches your mental health now you remember when i talked about it being stressful and hard to keep up and all of that that is the same thing it does when it comes to your mental health now if except i want to sit down on this channel right now and tell you guys how long i bleached my skin it wasn't a day journey. I didn't just do it once and stop immediately or anything. It's something that I did for years. And right now, <laughs> haven't tell you guys all of these experiences. You should know the outcome. I mean, I'm going to leave pictures for you to understand what I'm talking about. So, so because you're constantly trying to um, maintain a particular skin tone, you're always worried. Sometimes when you're going darker you're worried okay what is the next thing to do you're asking your friends look at me I'm, i've gotten darker this is something i did for like my siblings got tired of me my family got tired of me because every time i'm coming i'm like okay especially when i'm trying out a new product i'll be like please what do you think am i am i getting darker am i too bright you know you're always worried you're always mentally tortured because you're worried about getting caught that is what lies does to you you're worried when you're about to get caught you're worried about getting caught now i know that maybe some people will come for me you know because of this video i am I like i told you guys it's something i prepared for so yeah don't worry now you might not agree with me on this one but honestly, this is something that I am seeing out of experiences. I did not go and 
I didn't go and read anywhere about any of these points I'm, I, you know, I wrote down for you guys. I did not watch it anywhere. I'd not read. This is straight up from my own experience. And I'm talking about these things with you guys, like on a real life note, nothing hidden. So if you know you want to embark on that journey, you want to bleach your skin, you're tired of your current skin tone, know that this is going to torture you mentally on the long run. Yes, it is. It might not start that moment. It might not start at that time. But trust me, talk to five people that have bleached their skins or they're still bleaching their skins. They will tell you that it is mentally stressful. It is like it, it tortures you mentally. Because if you don't call that, if you don't know that this mental torture then i'm telling you that you are mentally tortured if you're even going through if you're bothered about oh my neck is different from my chest my you're like you're going you're you're mentally torturing yourself i mean if you know you can keep up with that then good luck to you i can't stop you but make sure you watch this video till the end maybe there's something that you might get from it and i mean this video is not to bash anybody at all to tell you that you shouldn't do what you want to do but i'm only telling you from my own experiences if you want to still um, bleach your skin, it is up to you. So now that takes me to my next point, the third point on my list today. Now I want you to know that skin bleaching is super expensive. Yes, you heard me right. Now some people that are bleaching their skin with um, maybe um, some of these lotions that you find everywhere, even people hawk it maybe in your area that are bleaching, you say, but how much do I buy these products? They are really cheap. They are not expensive yes i know that but when you talk about expensive for me there are a lot of things that are called expensive <laughs> so and i believe that if you're if you've been in it for a very long time you would relate that yes it can be very expensive to bleach your skin and i'm going to explain to you why now um it is not about just the price of the product that you have gotten at that time but trust me, you will buy lots of products. You will keep buying because you're trying to maintain something. You're trying to keep it. Now, I'm not saying that the quality of a product is within the price. No, not within the price range. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that there are some really, really cheap products out there that are skin bleaching that on the long run, it will wear out your skin. Some products can be very expensive and still do damage to your skin. You can talk more of using a very cheap product when i mean cheap product product that you don't know what is in the contents there are some products that we use that they don't even have the ingredient list on them that are lightning you just see that you are whitening you don't know where all that whitening is coming from guys it could be mercury it could be any kind of harsh ingredient in that um cream or lotion it's expensive because by the time you get one skin issue on the long run you are looking you're looking for another product to quickly fix it Maybe it has darkened you too much, much more than what you expect for those that understand. I mean, one thing with skin bleaching is it gets to a point and it's the cream just or lotion just stops working. It happens a lot. It happened to me a lot. Let me just speak for myself alone. It happened to me a lot. And then at that time, you're looking for another product. Maybe you've never exhausted the one you just bought. You're looking for another product to help you out. You're looking for another cream, face cream, dark spots cream, you know, and all of that to correct whatever skin, you know, issues you're going through at that time. I mean... It is just ex it is just expensive. I don't know how to say it anymore, but it is super duper expensive. Now I need you to listen to the next point. Maybe this one is going to convince you that maybe you should, maybe you should not. But please, I want you to watch this video to the end because I have a bonus point for you that I feel that is going to work for you very fine. And you know, before you embark on that journey, you need to know that. Okay. Now the next point on my list is skin bleaching on the long run would make your skin prone. So skin conditions i mean there are people that have gotten it right on the long run but you can't get it too right trust me and i mean before you even get it right you probably must have made a lot of mistakes and it's hard to go back i'm telling you this from experience and i'm telling you from a lot of not just my experiences even people around me you find out that you've been prone to a lot of skin conditions like skin damage like melasma like you know well, melasma is like this hyperpigmentation sunburn kind of and it just doesn't leave sometimes it is caused by the product that we've used or we're using and this is mostly lightning products bleaching product that has tends to you know cause all of this i'm not saying that other products cannot cause you melasma or any other any skincare condition at all but i'm telling you that that's if used wrongly but i'm telling you that um bleaching product has more tendency to make this skin issues very fast like stretch marks and a whole lot i mean they can cause permanent damage on your skin now it is hard to tell someone who wants to bleach not to if they've made up their minds if you know that this my advice is going to fall on deaf ears 
just know what you're getting into and make sure you do it right there are products that will give you even five days three days um lightning effect i'm telling you yes they are product like that but the truth is on the long run can you stand some of their effect their side effects they come with a whole lot of skin conditions please my darling before you embark on this journey think about it very well like this video is not to tell you whether to do it or to not do it but it's just to point you in the right direction and things to prepare your mind for on the long run nobody tells you this before you start bleaching i mean you, you, you sometimes people would even start bleaching without even knowing yes my own case was like that i even started bleaching i didn't know that i was already bleaching and yes i was loving it like okay baby girl has arrived she looks good now that is why you need to watch this video and videos like this and, and a lot of other videos i'll be putting out for you guys if you've ever bleached your skin and you know you could relate to some of these things i'm talking about please put down in the comment section if you want to stop skin bleaching put down in the comment section because i also have a content that will be coming for you guys and another thing i want you to do for me again put in the comment section how many years you you bleached your skin for and if you intend to bleach at all after hearing all of these things please put in the comment section and i'm still going to point you in the right direction because yes you're my baby girl and i'm not going to leave you yes i am not going to leave you okay so that takes me to my next point now let me tell you skin bleaching one day you feel like giving up when i mean giving up not like dying or anything <laughs> but you just get so tired and frustrated and like you know what i'm done i don't want to do this thing anymore i have spoken to 99.9 .9 ladies in my circle that i know that have bleached their skin or still bleached their skin if they've ever thought of stopping and they told me you know what so countless times i have thought and i've done this thing but it still doesn't work i still find myself going back <laughs> so now i want to tell you that if you start one day you will think of stopping i mean when you're like really really into it and you're like you know what it's not worth it when you have begin when you started experiencing all of the other points that i've mentioned up front and then you just tell yourself you know what this thing is not worth it at the end of the day after all this is not even my skin tone i had a beautiful skin tone even if i started bleaching i was a beautiful caramel girl i was a beautiful um dark skin girl i was you know even fair people bleach to get white i don't know why so you will get tired one day it could be one year later, it could be two years later, it could be three years later, it could be four years, five years. No matter how long it takes, I'm telling you, you're like, if you intend bleaching your skin, you're going to get tired on the long run. You're going to want to stop it. You're going to ask yourself, why did I even start this thing in the first place? So before you even think of starting at all, you need to know that these are some of the things you might experience. And I'm not saying this 100%. I'm only saying that, yes, this, these are things that I have experienced and a whole lot of my people around me have also experienced things like this. So there's every tendency that you might experience it in your bleaching journey. So it is quite difficult to stop skin bleaching. That is why I am telling you now that before you go into it, know that one day you feel like stopping and then ask yourself, is it worth it? So guys, without rambling too much, I'm going to give you guys the bonus that I promised you guys in the course of this video. Now I want to, I want to tell you the reason, the number one reason for skin bleaching in the first place like when people intentionally bleach and i'm saying this based on my experiences and people that i've spoken with you might not agree with me but i have realized that the reason why people bleach their skin is low self-esteem yes i'm sorry if this doesn't come out rightly and if it doesn't hit you right but trust me if you love yourself if you love your skin your god-given skin all you're gonna do is just maintain that beautiful skin tone whether black caramel dark even ebony whatever skin tone is beautiful all you need to do is know how to get products that works perfectly for your skin to glow your skin everybody is beautiful and trust me getting a very light skin a very fair skin does not guarantee you beauty i've seen dark beautiful girls i've seen ebony beautiful girls it is low self-esteem that makes anyone want to change their skin tone or makes them uncomfortable in their skin tone if i've said anything to hurt you in this video please forgive me it is not intentional i'm talking to people that need someone that is going to point them in the right direction skin directions and general life direction i'm telling you my life experiences i'm saying this like straight from my heart because it's something that i have experienced and i said no i need to talk to people out there who intend to embark on this journey so before you embark on this journey at all think about this like a sisterly advice you know just think about it as a friendly advice Coming from me to you like I can't say everything that I know in this video but I'm definitely gonna come up with other videos to buttress on this point a lot I have a lot of content around this particular topic that might interest you but guys I'm telling you guys from my experiences life experiences with skin bleaching so before I embark on that journey 
watch this video again if you don't understand it in this first watch watch it again so guys if you found this video helpful if you found this video educative in any way and you are yet to smash the like button please like this video if you want to see more content like this please smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my uploads my future uploads and even my old uploads you can go watch some of the videos that i have created in the past lots of beautiful content because last year was when i made the decision that you know what baby girl you have to learn to love your skin the way it is and i'm actually still on the journey to my beautiful black caramel skin if you found this video helpful please do not forget to smash the subscribe button and i'm going to see you in my next video until then stay beautiful fabulous and drink lots and lots of water bye ya. <laughs>